Okay, uh, hello again. For this video, uh, I'm going to focus on the protein skimmer. Uh, this is the D&D uh, &D Enterprises, um, uh, what's this called again? It was not the Typhoon, it, it's the other one. But um, it's the skimmer that you can see on eBay. And uh, there's a lot of mixed reviews on this on the internet. I looked it up before I bought it. It's rated for up to 300 gallons, but uh, I was skeptical. And I looked on YouTube and I only found two videos, just two videos. And both videos that I saw, um, their owners gave it nothing but high praise. Uh, they work like a charm. Uh, the videos that I saw, they were they were skimming, um, skimming like no tomorrow. And then nothing of an actual video footage of it malfunctioning or anything like that. Now the reviews I read on it uh, were pretty much half and half. Half the review said the skimmer is awesome, it works like a pro, uh, can't beat it for the price, and the other half were this thing is a nightmare, pieces don't fit, it doesn't skim, it might bubbles, etc., etc. Um, so I'm gonna be honest, I'll be truthful right now. Getting this thing together was a nightmare and trying to get it to not leak was an even bigger nightmare. Uh, almost to the point where because of everything that was going on with my 90 gallon bow uh, busting out and this leaking and all sorts of things were just going wrong. I almost gave up but uh, I stuck with it and now this thing is working like a champ. So let me get into the breakdown of this. Um, just show you pretty much where I have issues, where you might have issues if you decide to go this route. Um, assembly is pretty straightforward. Just read the instructions. The instructions do tell you to finish it completely before you even try to attempt to assemble it. And they're very adamant about that. I'm sure they've gotten a lot of questions as to why some of the pieces break. But uh, the unit itself, uh, the scammer top, the O-rings, the body, the bottom, that is all solid. Heavy duty acrylic tubing, uh, that will not break unless you're an idiot like me and tip it over and drop it. Because it is heavy, so it will break under its own weight, but I'll get to that again in, in, uh, in a minute. The fittings, as uh, you see there, the T fittings, the elbows and all that, that is not so great a quality. Um, you could probably get the same T fittings of a higher grade or quality. Probably if you just go to Lowe's or Home Depot and just get the same size fitting, um, it'll probably be a better quality fitting. It won't break on you as easy like the ones did on me. But I found my way around it. Uh, you will see here the Teflon tape. All right, the packaging comes with Teflon tape and it tells you to use it all the way down. As you can see here, it's missing, and I'll get to this piece in a second because this is my first area of interest that I'm going to go over. Uh, use it. There's plenty of it. Don't be afraid of it. The only thing I will tell you is be careful of over tightening because if you over tightening, trying to get things back to a certain spot is a big no no. You'll see uh, this part right here has quite a big gap, and I'll let you know this is where my first break off happened right here. And uh, it actually happened at the worst spot possible. Um, if you see, excuse me, if you see back here, there's a whole bunch of silicone right here at the base. That is where I initially cracked it. No kidding, like five minutes after I opened it and tried to assemble it. Just because I, I tightened down the, the fitting too tight and I broke it at the base. So. I ended up uh, actually PVC welding it with the uh, just you know your regular purple stuff that you use to weld on PVC piping when you're doing uh, your your drainage system or you know your return system and it worked that and a little bit of super glue and a little bit of uh, silicone obviously and a lot of luck. It came out a little bit slanted, more than I wanted to, which gave me issues with this area here. But as you can see, it's all working. 
Now you also see, notice that I have some silicone here, um, some silicone around here, here. All these areas were down here. All these areas were problem leak areas and they would not stop leaking. And um, actually up here, once again, where I made the original fix, uh, when I was, one of the times where I was taking it apart and re-siliconing stuff, getting it sealed back together, the unit actually tipped over and landed right here. And I didn't notice that there was a hairline crack down the center until I tried to run it up again. And that leak took me about two days to fix. Again, the same process, slow, pacingly, gluing it, sealing it, letting it dry, testing it. And these dry times are a full 24 hours. So every time I had to reseal it and retry it, there was a whole day lost. So you can see where it kind of got disheartening. Uh, I'd start it up, I'd find another leak, shut it down, drain it, reseal, wait 24 hours, try again. So uh, overall, I had the unit in possession for about two and a half weeks before I ever actually got it to actually run. Um, so yeah, I can see where a lot of people would give up, say this skimmer's a piece of junk, and just you know give up and throw it away but let me tell you um just keep going just keep going forward all right um this has been up and running for about a week and a half now i know my video is kind of late but uh, i've been kind of backed up but as you can see that is disgusting that is nasty and this right here that is just two days worth of skin all right so i have a pretty dirty tank but this proof positive. Oh, you can see some of the skin coming in that now. Um, proof positive that this thing does work. Billions, billions of micro bubbles in there. This thing is, it is just a, a workhorse. Um, again, it's rated for 300 gallons. I'm using it on this little 55 gallon, so it's severely overpowered. Uh, obviously, it would be more efficient if it was smaller. Um, it wouldn't wait as long for it to collect and accumulate and then spill it over the top. Um, so I actually plan on uh, perhaps at some point in the future trying out the uh, Typhoon. The Typhoon is the hang-on one that they have. Uh, it is obviously the standalone either in sump or next to system that they have. Uh, the Typhoon is actually rated for um, uh, 150 gallons. So again, it will be overpowered, but considering this is going to be a reef tank and it's going to have an uh, extremely high bio load, I think it's going to be okay. So, again, uh, it was, it was, it was a nightmare to set up. Could not get it to stop leaking, but <laughs> stuck with it. And then, this is my end result. Alright. Uh, oh, the Terminator 2, that's what it's called, the D&D. &D. Terminator 2, there's a badge. Proof positive, this skimmer does, in fact, work. <laughs>